Hi, I'm Martin Clemens and uh, I'm going to be talking about the uh, final lab project that I put together for ECN 5623 Real-Time Embedded Systems, University of Colorado, Summer 2013. So, our project, uh, or our course, consisted of uh, learning about uh, real-time programming uh, using the uh, Beagle XM uh, Linux platform and uh, what I've created is a uh, very basic uh, battery monitoring system uh, utilizing the LTC 6804 uh, battery stack monitor uh, demo boards. Right now I just have one board connected but uh, there can be multiple boards uh, or multiple ICs connected together in a daisy chain and uh, so I've got a uh, demo board here and it's connected through an isolated uh, SPI interface to a SPI to isolated SPI interface adapter board and then that goes to the uh, uh, SPI hardware on the Beagle XM through this uh, little cable here. So I'm just going to uh, turn everything on and let the Beagle uh, board boot up and uh, I'll explain a couple of the other components while that takes place. Okay, so uh, in order to monitor a uh, battery stack, uh, having cell voltage and uh, temperatures is useful, which the uh, 6804 IC provides, but also uh, knowing the current going through the battery pack is useful. And so what I've done is taken a Hall effect current sensor here, and it's connected to one of the auxiliary analog to digital converters on the uh, 6804 so I'm able to uh, convert the uh, current uh, sensed by the uh, hall sensor I'm able to convert that uh, at the same time as uh, all the battery uh, voltages using the uh, 6804 ADC so uh, right now um, Beagle should be uh, booted up so I'm going to uh, start my battery management uh, system program. Okay, so here we have the uh, user interface and uh, like I said before we're only connected to one demo board right now so we have uh, battery cells 1 through 12 uh, showing valid data and then uh, this is where the this is uh, where the data from the second board would come in which I'll be connecting later. Um, so here we can see uh, status information from the 6804 IC. Uh, so, for example, the software revision, the sum of cells, uh, voltage reading, um, temperatures, analog supply voltage, digital, digital supply voltage, uh, etc. And then here we have uh, decoded information for each of the different cells. So, this, for example, represents cell number one. And uh, there uh, is a terminal voltage measurement and a current measurement and right now uh, I'm showing about uh, 3.3 volts uh, for the terminal voltage and uh, 0 amps uh, on the current and the uh, checksum for the data is okay. So right now the 6804 is not actually connected to a battery but I have it connected to a power supply and there's uh, some resistors soldered across the uh, input terminal so it's basically simulating a, a battery. Uh, so right now uh, our, our simulated cell voltage like I said before was 3.3 uh, volts and uh, we can go over to the board and, and verify that with the uh, with the multimeter so here we have cell number one 3.3 and got the multimeter here and we will measure here across the input for cell number one and we have 3.299 volts now to simulate current I've taken a, a wire and, and wrapped it three times uh, through the Hall effect sensor so we should get a, uh, a reading that's three times the current through this wire and I'm just going to turn on my uh, lab supply here I've got it set to constant current at one amp so now we're uh, running one amp through this uh, through this wire, and we will go back over to the current sensor, 
and we see here current 3 amps. So the current sensor is uh, working properly. Now um, there's, a, there's a couple other items that are coming out uh, of the uh, BMS uh, uh, information here in the user interface. There's a, there's a uh, open circuit voltage which uh, uses a, a uh, model of the cell which takes into account uh, hysteresis, diffusion, uh, series resistance, etc. And it projects basically what under, under the load uh, current, what the open uh, circuit voltage of that cell would be, and it uses that uh, then to go to a lookup table and calculate a uh, state of charge. Um, and then that state of charge is uh, is uh, blended with a um, integrated current uh, state of charge, and that produces the final uh, state of charge re readout uh, that's displayed in the uh, in the BMS. Uh, it's not, again, we don't have it actually connected to a battery, so it's not really particularly accurate at this point. Right now we just see that the, that the math is uh, working properly. Okay, so to talk about the real-time aspects, uh, the, the goal of this project was to be able to sample the 6804 analog-to-digital converter deterministically, and uh, the idea there was to divide the tasks of this battery management system up into several real-time tasks. So there's a real-time task that uh, samples the ADC. There's another real-time task that takes the data that's uh, coming from the ADC and it uh, runs the battery management system's uh, algorithms on it. And uh, then there's a third real-time task that takes the battery management system data and displays it to the user or potentially logs it to a file. So right now um, we can look at the uh, interface uh, between the, the uh, SPI interface between the Beagle XM and the 6804 um, ISO SPI adapter and see that the analog to digital converter is being sampled in real time. So we've got a uh, We've got a logic analyzer that's uh, connected to the SPI interface here, and I'm just going to capture some uh, SPI traffic. Okay, so what we see here is uh, two two different events occurring. Um, the the short the short burst of traffic is the initiation of uh, ADC sampling and then the long burst of traffic is uh, the collection of the data from the ADC once the conversion has completed. So uh, here we see uh, the commands that are initiating the reading of the uh, uh, that are initiating the conversion of the uh, ADC data and that's the command that's really important uh, as far as when it executes. You want the conversions to start at a predictable and predetermined interval. And uh, in my software I have uh, programmed an update rate of 100 Hz, so this should be occurring every 10 milliseconds. And we can see here um, in time that in d it does in fact uh, happen every 10 milliseconds. Here we have uh, 200 and about 7 just under 208 milliseconds. The next index here, here the next index here is uh, uh, just under 218. The next index is just under 228, and so on. So it's uh, it's pretty clear that it's possible to to achieve uh, fairly fairly uh, decent real time performance uh, just from a from a standard uh, Linux operating system. Now what's interesting here, uh, this is where the user interface update occurs and there's some Ethernet traffic that's, uh, that's uh, dividing up the, uh, the reading of the uh, ADC over SPI, but still the, uh, the sampling is still occurring uh, at, uh, at, the, uh, at the desired intervals. So 
I would say that this uh, this is not really a problem for the uh, for the integrity of the data coming from the ADC because the sampling still occurs at the right time. And here again, uh, the uh, the sampling occurs at very predictable and uh, regular intervals. Okay, so that's it for uh, working in here. Uh, next step is going to be to take this uh, whole project and connect it to an electric vehicle and see how it performs uh, reading actual cell data. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the Beagle BMS uh, installed in an uh, electric vehicle. And uh, I'll just uh, show you real quick how everything's connected. So uh, right back here in the, in the truck bed, uh, we've got the uh, Beagle XM and the uh, SPY to ISO SPY interface board. Then we've got both of the uh, LTC6804 demo boards, and those are connected here through uh, this cable, multi-conductor cable, uh, to the uh, battery pack, which is underneath here. And uh, then uh, we also have a current sensor uh, connected to this wire here going into the uh, ADC on the 6804 and the uh, current sensor is located on the uh, battery pack as well uh, just underneath uh, underneath the vehicle right right up there <laughs> that's probably not gonna work yeah that's that's fine that's fine yeah that's that's good enough yeah I can see it okay and then uh, got a uh, an Ethernet cable coming from the Beagle XM and running into the cab of the of the truck, and then uh, here on the cab we've got the uh, application running and it's just uh, monitoring the cells right now. Okay, so I'm cruising around in the Zap Zebra pickup truck here, and I've got the Beagle BMS monitoring the battery state. Uh, you can see the sensors back there, there's uh, the uh, 6804 development boards and the Beagle, uh, Beagle with the uh, spy interface adapter. And then uh, up here, I've got my laptop and uh, we're just reading, uh, reading the cell and uh, IC states here and we're, we're logging the cell voltage. maintaining it at 35 miles an hour but we're going down here. Right. Now you're up to about 104 there for a minute. This is a fairly steep hill right yep. here. 125, 115, 10, well about 100, not less than 100. 